please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Uh, well, I think we can get to our first question then in just a minute. Um, we have our first question coming in from Manish who calls us from Ahmedabad with a query. He has investments in Reliance Industrial Infra. Hi Manish. Hi. हाँ आपका सवाल रिलायंस इंडस्ट्री इंडस्ट्रियल इंफ्रा पे है हाँ जी हाँ बोलिए हाँ मैंने रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज इंफ्रा लिया था 200 से हम्म और 650 रेट में लिया था जानने वाले में Okay, so I think it's at a higher rate than um, what is written on the screen. But in any case, Manish, आप कितनी देर के लिए hold कर सकते हो? नहीं hold तो हम छे अभी छे महीना बार महीना तक रख सकते हैं. Okay, so six to twelve months. Uh, Sharmila, if you could just reply back to Manish in Hindi, and if you could just give us a recommendation, his buy price is six fifty. So he's sitting on a huge loss at this point. His horizon is six months to one year. Um, do you think he should hold or maybe? Average or sell out and uh, book profits. <coughs> एवरेज का तो कहना मुश्किल है लेकिन मुझे लगता है कि डेफिनेटली आपको इसको होल्ड करना चाहिए क्योंकि लॉस नॉट विथ रनिंग यानी छः सौ पचास और काफ़ी एक ऊपर का लेवल हो जाता है लेकिन आई थिंक जो मौजूदा लेवल है स्टॉक का और अगर आप उसके वैल्यूएशन देखें तो ये लेवल पे ये स्टॉक काफ़ी ठीक लगता है और यहाँ से अपसाइड हो सकता है स्टॉक में सो आई थिंक ये जो बीच में हमने पूरे मिड कैप स्पेस और इस तरह के सेक्टर के स्टॉक्स में करेक्शन देखा है वो करेक्शन हम रिलायंस इंफ्रा में भी को एक्सटेंड हुआ है तो उसके चलते मुझे लगता है कि शायद आपको आपका इन्वेस्टमेंट होराइजन थोड़ा बढ़ाना पड़े लेकिन अभी के लेवल से आपको हायर लेवल्स मिलने की संभावना है इसलिए अभी ये लेवल पे आप ये स्टॉक होल्ड कर सकते हैं यस यही साल में स्टॉक 650 के लेवल से गिरा है और अभी चार का रेट है सो ये साल का हम चार्ट इंटरडे देखेंगे तो 650 था एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ द ईयर रजत इट्स ऑलरेडी फॉल इन क्वाइट बेड सो व्हाट शुड ही डू नाउ डू यू सी अपसाइड फ्रॉम हियर ऑन well rima actually the stock is weak in the in the near term in the sense that uh, it uh, went up early on up to about 680 and from there it has come down so much i mean 418 as uh, as we talk so probably if it were to fall below 397 then it could actually go down to 334 so i would suggest 397 on closing price basis as a stop loss because if it were to go below that then there could be further downside and that could happen pretty fast in in such a case it would be worth his while to actually get out currently since he he has already lost so much another 20 points would not be a great deal so let us keep a stop loss there and watch out as to how things pan out okay all right so that's on reliance industrial infra but we have another caller coming in now we have ravinder singh who calls us from new delhi with a question he has investments in finutex chemicals uh, ravinder hi hi ma'am uh, ma'am i'm holding uh, 4000 shares of finutex chemical at the rate of 60 uh, and i can hold for the long term okay how long are you okay with holding it for around 4 5 months i'm holding this you can hold it for another 4 to 5 months No, no. I can hold for the long term. I'm holding for the last four, five months. Okay. Long term, you mean at least over a year, two years? Yeah, right. Correct. Okay. All right, uh, Sharmila. Which is uh, this is another question on a pained mid cap. You can say, you know, so many retail investors have seen so much of, uh, you know, loss of wealth in specific stocks, and this is just another example of it. But what would you recommend? One to two year horizon. So, do you think that at least Finutex in this specific example has the ability to recover? Uh, so very honestly uh, you know i, I mean uh, as you said uh, we have seen a huge correction in a lot of these uh, mid caps and uh, chemicals were uh, like a fancied sector i would say mm. you know about 4 5 months back they had the twin benefit of uh, certain uh, uh, china facilities mm. closing and bans etc though of course every uh, chemical i mean you know anything that had chemicals in its name sort of Uh, rallied up but a lot of these companies weren't really in that space for instance uh, finutex is uh, i think uh, textile specialty chemicals so uh, really uh, no exciting news there in terms of bans but i think the business is uh, chugging along uh, nicely so i think just from that perspective and the fact that valuations even for this now seem uh, reasonable it makes sense to hold on uh, to this stock because i do think that it can sort of
sort of rally from current levels. So, uh, uh, I mean, uh, especially since he is a long-term investor. So, there is no concern really in terms of earnings or uh, anything of the sort. But I think uh, you will have to sort of, it may spend uh, some time uh, at this level before it moves higher. So, what would your long-term target of fair value on Finiotex chemicals be? Uh, I think it can uh, definitely go to his buying price at least, which is I think 68. Yeah. All right, upside from here on, at least on a fundamental basis, 68 can be achieved. Uh, Rajat, where do you stand? <coughs> See, my point is that technically this stock looks weak, but uh, at the beginning of the year, if you remember, this stock was very much in discussion and people have waxed eloquent on its uh, uh, fundamentals. In fact, uh, uh, if I remember correctly, that with the passage of time, its fundamentals would improve even better. And Sarmila just said that that uh, from a fundamental point of view, it, uh, it it is it would be worth his while to continue holding it. So in that case, I would suggest that hold it with a stop below 40. But technically speaking, once it settles down below 55, there is every possibility that he might have to take a bit more pain and see it tasting 40 levels. But if I were in his shoes and if I'm convinced that this is actually a good fundamental stock to really hold on to, I would definitely average it around 40. Okay, average around 40. That's the view coming in on uh, on Finutex from our technical expert. But we have another query now. Sanjay writes to us from Pune, who holds 1,000 shares of Hindalco, which are bought at 88. Good to see someone making some money since the past two and a half years. Long-term investor wants to know whether to hold or sell particular stock. Rajat, let's start with a, a technical check, and then we'll go over to Sharmila for what she thinks as well. But uh, sitting on profits for our caller, so what would uh, for our query? Uh, which is coming. So, what would you recommend, Hindalco? You see, uh, if, uh, I personally bought Hindalco around those levels. My buy price was just a rupee higher than what this investor did, but I sold it at a higher level. Uh, but what I would suggest now is that, yes, it, uh, it's time he took some money off the table, but suppose if you were to continue, Hold it with a stop below 215. If it were to go below that on closing price basis, then definitely exit. Or if you have to wait, then wait for a rally and see if it takes out 250 decisively. If it does that, then Hindalco would be would see another great upswing. But if it fails to take out 250 on the upside in any counter swing rally, then definitely take profits and get out. Okay, stay invested at 250. If it doesn't cross that, book profits then. Uh, Shamila, commodities have gone through their own bull run, right, in the last two, three years, and he's clearly enjoyed. He's making a lot of money. But from here on, is the outlook as rosy? Because we are talking about a global trade war, and if that happens, it could hurt the commodity demand. Uh, so where do you stand on that, as, and particularly on Hindalco? Uh, so I think uh, precisely, you know, because uh, this question is difficult to answer only because he's invested at really good levels. And uh, uh, now uh, I think the go year going ahead could be a little rocky uh, for metals as a whole ever since this uh, uh, trade war issue has started. We are seeing, you know, uh, one week go goes well for... Uh, metal story and the next week again there is you know some bad data bad news etc so by and large i think it is believed that hindalco should not be affected a because they have a uh, novelist exposure uh, which is in the us and i think uh, secondly i'm expecting uh, better numbers for uh, aluminium as a uh, metal in any case uh, you know as compared to steel so I would be positive on Hindalco. So I think from that perspective, for me, the stock is a hold. I think uh, the only thing that I leave up to the investor is since he is sitting on a good profit and perhaps which is why he is worried because of this correction that we've seen. Uh, but uh, I think, you know, keep the faith in metals and uh, continue to stay invested. Okay. All right. Continue to stay invested for Hindalco. I'm sorry, I didn't get the target that you have on Hindalco. I didn't really give a target, but I think uh, you can expect about, uh, uh, yeah, I think you can expect about 20% from current levels. Okay. 20% from current levels for Hindalco. We'll take a break on that note with the news that the Nifty is back at 10,700, just about holding those levels. Mid caps have spiked up back to the high point of the day. So some renewed interest, which is coming in, some buy on dips, which is coming, emerging probably at lower levels. Take a break, but we'll focus on some more stock queries once we're back. Stay tuned.
Welcome back. Uh, well, nothing much to incrementally talk about. There are some stocks which saw a good run yesterday and are coming off today. So, uh, case in point would be something like a matrimony.com. The stock is down around 7 odd percent, not that much in terms of volumes, but nonetheless, that saw double digit gains yesterday. And stocks such as quality continue to decline. So, that stock is now at around 21 rupees for quality, down in upper circuit, uh, in lower circuit again. And uh, to put it into perspective, the stock has lost 80% of its market cap at current reckoning. So 21 rupees now for quality. Uh, we will get to another caller now. We have Sudhin who calls us from Bangalore Investments in HDFC. Hi, Sudhin. Hi, good afternoon, ma'am. Thanks Hi. for taking my question. Go ahead. Uh, I, I want to know whether I should uh, accumulate HDFC at the current level or should I wait till the end of December where I would get better entry points? Ah, uh, okay. Well, I <laughs> why would you think uh, that December would be a better entry point? Just out of curiosity. And I am expecting a correction during the results time, election time. Oh, okay. Wow. All right, uh, Rajat, uh, do you concur with Sudin? And do you think that he should wait till December to enter HDFC? Well. Predicting uh, prices are far easier than predicting time as to <laughs> when that thing will pan out. But still, I would say that around generally you will find that from a cyclical perspective, October, November is the time when there is another a bottom, uh, whether the bottom will be lower than the bottom that you saw around 9,000 or so in the Nifty, that is still uh, uh, to be considered. But uh, I would expect that something around that time you will get a better entry price for HDFC. But I would suggest an alternative. I would say that why only HDFC? Why not look at Dr. Reddy, Lupin, or Sun Pharma from the uh, pharma space, even Aurobindo for that matter? Because from a return perspective, they could be actually give you much better uh, appreciation. Okay, Sudeen, so uh, some thought, food for thought for you. Perhaps you should look at pharmaceutical as well uh, to enter in. Lupin Sun Pharma and Aurobindo Pharma uh, could be on your radar as well. Um, Sharmila, do you suspect a correction is looming for HDFC given the factors he laid out, elections and earnings? Well, actually, we are already seeing a correction in the housing finance space. If you see stocks outside, uh, meaning... Uh, HDFC is perhaps the last to really correct Buckle. within that lot because uh, uh, stocks like an LIC, housing finance, etc. have corrected more than I think 20-25% from their higher levels. So uh, it's a pain that's uh, being felt across uh, the sector and uh, uh, I would say that the correction in HDFC has been perhaps like as you said, you know, the last to sort of join uh, the, the correction that we are seeing. So um, I, I, I wouldn't really expect much lower levels on. Uh, HDFC. So if you had to average, I think uh, the current price would be as good as any. Uh, but really, uh, I think you can go with uh, Raja's advice on, on levels. But as a stock, I think it's, it's you know, a portfolio stock from my point of view. So I wouldn't really exit it for any reason. I would just continue to hold what I have at current levels. And if you get a lower level, I mean, I don't know what you would define really as a lower level. Uh, but uh, yes, sure, you can average at that price as well. Okay, all right. So that's on uh, that's view coming in on HDFC. We have another caller now. We have Mr. Nagrajan who calls in from Chennai. He has a question: Investments in Shri Cement. Hi, Mr. Nagrajan. Uh, yes. Uh, how are you? Uh, thanks okay. for taking up my query. Yes. Uh, I purchased the Shri Cement in uh, December. Mm -hmm. uh, now <clears throat> I want to hold it for at least three years so that uh, the, uh, the electric year passes and the real value will come up only after those things. Mm. But I request your suggestion for uh, for the sale. Okay, so you're okay with holding it for three years, and your quantity uh, yes, uh, uh, is five uh, shares. Uh, five shares. Uh, five shares. But I you, want to hold it for three years. But you can build up these uh, from these levels also, as in, can you buy more uh, of Shri Cement if that's advice to you? No, no, I don't want to go for very best. I, you know, I'm retired, so I don't want okay. to go move further in that. Okay, okay, fair enough. All mm. right, Sharmila, what would you recommend uh, to Mr. Nagrajan? Uh, I definitely hold, I think, because uh, uh, really uh, uh, 
Uh, cement is a sector which you know they it's generally perceived as being in uh, direct correlation with your GDP. So really, if you're expecting GDP to improve over the next three years, then there is no real reason to not hold cement. I think secondly, the other favor uh, factor that goes in favor of cement stocks is that we have, it's you know it's really been a sector that never really joined the rally. Even when markets were trending upwards, you didn't really see any. A great rally uh, in cement stocks because you know there's always that mismatch mm. when uh, capacity is increased but demand hasn't caught up and uh, then offtake is slow. Now we're in the monsoon, so it's it's a slower period, etc. But he's sitting on a loss right now. Do you think that he'll at least get back? To I his, definitely uh, think so. So I think price. since he has a three-year horizon, he can uh, continue to hold if he wants to. Uh, and in any case, he doesn't want to buy more. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. okay, his return is already down about 14 percent. Um, Rajat, uh, technically. Uh, Shri Cement is a hold from here? Well, Sri Cement is one of the best blue chips uh, in the uh, in cement space. Uh, from that perspective, and if you are if you have a clear perspective, definitely there would be some upswing at some point in time. But if you look at the last uh, several quarters uh, from a price appreciation point of view, this is basically distributing in in the uh, sense that a lot of people are exiting this cement stock and maybe moving to some other cement stock. But still, I would say that fifteen thousand is a very strong support area. If that gets broken, then 13,000 could also come. But since he is a retired person and doesn't trade uh, on a regular basis in the market, I would suggest that it's a, it's a, it's a great blue chip. Continue to hold on over the long period. I think you will make some money. Okay, so both our experts, technically as well as fundamentally, have said to hold on to Shri Cements for the next three years. Uh, need to take a break now, but we'll focus on more queries once we're back. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Through the day, the dips have been bought into. So if you pull up the intraday chart, and even in the last 30 minutes, there has been a recovery of nearly 25 points from the lows, and the Nifty is now back above that 10,700 mark. And that story seems to have played out through the course of the trading session. What's moving higher are a couple of these financial names. So Bajaj Finance, a multi-bagger, irrespective of which period you look at, a huge wealth generator. Uh, now is higher by close to about 1.3%. Enables Housing Finance is seeing some buying. Pharmaceutical is back in vogue. So Lupin Sun Pharma also inching up in trade. But this is your stocks, where with our two experts, we are addressing some of the queries that we are getting. Um, so the next one is an SMS that we've got on Kaveri Seeds. So, sorry, it's a caller. So Sajja has called us from Andhra Pradesh with a... Okay, I'm sorry, it's Avanti... Uh, Feeds. Um, so let's just get that up for you. Akash Shah has written to us from Pune. He holds 4,000 shares of HDI. Okay, I'm, it's HDI. I'm sorry. I They're think we'll take the HDI query, query then. Yeah. Um, so it's HDI yeah. bought at a price of 55 rupees per share in the last one year. He's a long term investor and he wants to know whether to hold or sell. Um, Sharmila, HDI, 55 rupees, losing money. Uh, I would still say sell. Uh, simply because I think that uh, uh, real estate is not my uh, favorite uh, space. If I have to recommend something within that space, I go via the proxy play. We spoke of housing finance companies a little while earlier, so you know stocks like that. Uh, for AJL, I'm not really uh, sure about uh, you know the earnings visibility as well as the fact that you know that whole uh, SRA. I think you know in metros, which used to be a big story for AJL, is now. Mm -hmm. uh, but should he sell because he's making such a big loss? So well, I think it's still better to sell and uh, buy something where you can uh, recover your money rather than staying invested in a stock which you don't like. Okay, Rajat, what would your recommendation be on HDIL? Stock is down significantly um, in the past year. I'll second Sharmila's opinion. Star, the chart that you are showing on the screen. Uh, shows clearly that it's in a downtrend and the downtrend shows no sign of abating. Uh, 
chances are that it will actually seek even lower levels so it would be better to actually save some money maybe he has lost two third of his money or more uh, it would be better to actually exit at current levels and uh, invest that money elsewhere or hold it for a, a lower level to invest somewhere else whatever but not do not stay in hdil i have mentioned this earlier also that if it is not criminal to be it is not criminal to be wrong but it's a crime to remain invested where you know that things are not working out for sure <laughs> all right uh, that's a you know difficult one to swallow to exit at such a big loss but thank you shamila as well as rajat for your time this afternoon uh, we leave the markets in a fairly good shape so higher by about 0.4% on the benchmark indices the mid caps are roaring mid cap index higher by about 8 tenths of a percentage point remember to keep sending us your queries log on to cnbctv18.com mail us your queries there we'll address them with our experts stay tuned closing bell will take you through the last hour of trade